Greetings students, welcome to PLegal 123-450, your summer online corporate practice systems class. I am Lori Kornblum, you can't see me, uh, many of you know me, but I'll show you my picture when we get to that page. You will see that uh, you your home page will be your announcements page, and by the time you get this, you should have an announcement posted that you are going to be welcome to class. The way this class works is that you have a system of weekly assignments. So if you scroll down and you look at coursework, which unfortunately they have changed the format of Blackboard and it doesn't stand out, you click on the weekly assignments page and it will take you to your weekly assignments. I have a tutorial on downloading, downloading and saving PDFs because that becomes important in the class. Every week, is set up as weeks one through seven. There are dates associated with the weeks and you'll see this week is intro to class. So if you click on that, that will take you to your introduction to class and your chapters one through three. This is the one time when you'll have two folders in your week one. So you click on your intro to class and then you'll see that there will be a, this video will be posted and then you have a syllabus and course calendar quiz. Obviously you will have to read the syllabus and course calendar first. Then when you finish with that you go to the information on chapters 1 through 3 and notice that there is a table of contents on the left. So if your blackboard is not arranged so that you can see the table of contents you can click on the arrow it can go on the in the bottom and if you see if you see it minimized, if you don't see it at all, then it means it's minimized. Uh, and you can click on the arrow to get it put over onto the sidebar or click on that to get it maximized. So for every week you will have um, PowerPoints and learning materials and you'll have assessments. For your PowerPoints and learning materials, each of the PowerPoints is linked to Google Slides. So you can download these onto your computer hard drive if you wish to um, and then you can take notes on them or you can keep them but you cannot edit my slides. Um, so you have three chapters in week one. They are not very long chapters. I also often have links to the law. Here's the Uniform Partnership Act which gives you the legal issues because we're going to be doing partnerships in week one. And then you will have assessments. So you can click on assessments and you'll see that you have um, a discussion board for, uh, for this link and then you have uh, an assignment and a quiz uh, which will um, be open for you. Um, the discussion board, the links are all to the left under discussion boards and what you would do is you would you would click on the discussion board and you would then write your post. You would create a thread on the discussion board. Here's the forum description. You would write you, you would read the article um, and then you would put your name in the subject. So if it, I were doing it, I'd say Cornbloom and I'm just saying test message for here. Okay. Okay. Uh, that went off too quickly so I can click on that um, if you submit it too quickly and you can actually edit your own post or you can uh, so you can you can clear it you can expand it you can collapse it or you can delete it and I can at this point I'm not going to do that I'm just going to say okay so for each discussion post I'm going to delete this now because um, which only I can do. But I'm going to delete it because it doesn't really say anything. Um, but for each discussion forum you will see that uh, you have to post your parent post by Thursday night at midnight and reply to, to at least two of your classmates by Sunday at 11.59 p.m. So for every week again there's weekly assignments. You click on weekly assignments. You do everything that is in your in that week in the folder and this goes for the entire term. Um, you then can find out if you 
want to find out what's due when, you can look at the due date calendar. And this due date calendar, uh, you should set up for only your this class. You'll see on the due date calendar, I list everything for the week. So for example, on the 13th, I'm having in-person office hours. On the 21st, we have the discussion board due. Um, I'm having in-person office hours on the 18th. You can click on this introduction to your class is due. And for you, it would be take you to the assignment. For me, is I can edit it. So you'll see that all the assignments are due on Sunday nights by 11.59, but I also have discussion boards posted and I will have uh, some of the other items posted. We have some online, um, optional online classes too. So that's your due date calendar. For your syllabus and calendar information, um, I have the calendar in downloadable form and also attached to the uh, um, to to your uh, link. So notice that every week you have weekend dates, what your learning activities are, and what the assessments are. This is subject to change, but I also have listed in red when I have office hours because they vary from week to week. I'm having some optional online office hours. Um, which uh, if nobody signs in by 15 minutes after the office hour starts, I close it. Um, and if you have any other time you want to see me, just send me a message. Here's the actual syllabus. If you click on this, you can download it. And then when you download it, you will find out uh, this is a new syllabus format that the college is using. Um, and you can read it and find out all the rules that are in the class. Um, the course competencies are attached. If you want to find out what you're going to be learning in this class, then you look at the course competencies and what your career essentials are. Your grading scale is the standard MATC grading scale, and that is posted. Faculty information is here. If you want to know how to contact me, I've got my email, my phone number posted, the office hours, and I've again posted these office hours for summer 2018. That is a picture of me. If you don't know me, that is it. So it's pretty easy. Um, there's email, which is a way that you can contact me. You just say single select users on the email and it'll bring up a window and then you can send me an email from there. Um, but my preferred way of communicating is by course messages, which creates an internal email. So if I say to, and let's say I want to send a, a message to myself just as a test, I click on that, put it in there, and I'm just going to say test. And then I'm going to submit it. And then you'll see I have something in my inbox. And it says it's a test message. I prefer the course messages because then I know who, what they're relating to. Uh, if there are jobs that are posted, I often post them under job opportunities. I have resume resources. I have our paralegal program grid, graduation materials, etc. Um, the other thing that I have are links to Wisconsin Department of Financial Institutions. Um, you will find that we use the Department of Financial Institutions form a lot. So again, welcome to class. I am looking forward to meeting you in person and on the discussion board. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me at any time. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay, I will say goodbye again because I pressed the wrong button.